After yesterday's total meltdown in the face of another overheated inflation number, we need to talk about one of the most important components of inflation that have been going in the right direction for the Fed, oil. Unfortunately, the price of crude jumped 1.57% today, which is the last thing we want to see. But there's a good reason to believe that the current bounce may actually turn out to be short-lived, and oil might actually start going lower again. Don't take it from me, though. Tonight, we're going off the charts with the help of Carly Garner. She's a brilliant technician who's the co-founder of DeCarly Trading, the author of Higher Probability, Com- Probability Commodity Trading, and our resident commodities expert who predicted the peak in oil months ago when everyone else thought it was going to the moon. For those of you who don't remember, Garner's thesis for most of the year has been that the Russian invasion of Ukraine caused an irrational spike, irrational spike in crude. Russia got hit with tons of sanctions from the West and West, and Wall Street just assumed that oil would disappear from the market. But that is not actually what happened. It just messed up the global oil supply chain as Russia started selling its barrels to China and India at cut rate prices. Very few people on Wall Street thought that would happen. Once we realized that there wasn't much of an oil shortage at all, we started worrying about a worldwide slowdown as central bankers raised interest rates to tamp out inflation. The price of crude quickly peaked, plunging from almost $130 to nearly $80 over the course of six months. Of course, it, it's now rebounded to nearly 90 bucks, and that's exactly what Garner predicted when she said it would hit the low 80s and then come right back up. And she says this bounce fits into the more gentle uptrend that oil had been going into before the war in Ukraine got rolling. But ever since oil broke down below 100 bucks in July, we've had a number of short-lived rallies, and the buyers have been punished every single time. In the short run, Garner wouldn't be surprised if this oil can keep running for a bit. But longer term, she thinks the bears will win, and the price of crude will head back to a more natural level, which she sees, get this, really at around 60 bucks a barrel. Don't miss a second of Mad Money. Follow at Jim Kramer on Twitter. Have a question? Tweet Kramer. Hashtag Mad Tweets. Send Jim an email to madmoney at CNBC.com or give us a call at 1 800 743 CNBC. Miss something? Head to madmoney.cnbc.com. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.